God, oh my goodness, those are cavities waiting to happen, seriously. Insane. <laughs> What is up? Hello, how's it going? You probably seen what was right here. So I had to like shimmy it out of the way so that I can talk about it first and lead, just lead into it. That's what she said. Well, I don't know why she would say that. Well, no, I do know why she would say that. She, we lead it, okay. Anyway, I am here, obviously, I'm here, yes. I forgot I haven't done the video in a while so I don't really know what the heck to say. It happens. Not too long ago, sometime, maybe within the last two weeks, my best friend showed me a picture. A picture of these desserts. Well, they're cookies. Of these cookies. These cookies are widely known all across the world by Oreo Nabisco. Anyways, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but that's the first time I've seen these things. And then after that, I was like, oh, that is awesome. I want to try them. Why not? It sounds cool. They're limited edition. Of course, Oreo, the most up. Most cream ever. So we're gonna try them. Oh, just see what all the hype is about. Is there even any hype? I don't know. I thought I would believe it is, but by the way, I got these at Target for $2.99, I think it was. Let us just lift the tab. This is what it looks like on the inside. Wow. <laughs> hey. Did I actually get jipped by one cooker? You didn't jump out and go into the other side. How many are in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, I guess just one just had a little extra wiggle room. <laughs> Let us examine a cookie. Bam. This is not gonna focus, is it? Oh my gosh! So as we can already tell, it's super freaking easy for it to just split open. Whoa, whoa. I think it has a little bit too much stuff on here. I really do think it's overly stuffed. <laughs> anyway, so that is what it looks like. Let's try this. Whoa! Look at all the stuff is just coming out the sides. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Hmm. Definitely is. I can't even say that. Definitely, it is a lot of cream. I think these I could probably only handle like three at a time. Everybody, the stuff just keeps on coming out right. Coming out to the right. Look at that. It is a lot of sugar in one bite. It says 11 grams of total sugar, so I don't know if I believe that. Wow, that was super, super sweet. The double stuff is like perfect. I guess this is something you would have to try yourself. Cause like if you're like somebody that just can't have a mouthful of sugar, <laughs> who does? If you don't really like a lot of sugary stuff, this is probably not for you. I want to try Oreo cereal. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but like people will put Oreos in like a bowl. Well, I have a mug. And then they'll add milk to it and then squish it. I love to dip my Oreos and like get them all soft. I don't know. It sounds very sensual. I like to pour some milk and dip my Oreos in there and just let it soften up. And then once it's done, I like to crush it and then eat it. Well, maybe sometimes I don't really crush it. But I like it soaked in my milk. I'm gonna try it that way and then I'm gonna do the Oreo cereal with real Oreos. But not just any Oreos, the most stuff Oreos. I used almond milk, by the way, because I don't drink moo milk. Sorry about that. <laughs> my camera's a little drunk. Got my next Oreo, gonna dip it in there, just gonna drop it in there and just, you know, just let it bubble up and soak up and then we'll get ready for the bite. Should we check? It's sinking in. It's like the Titanic. It's going down now. Oh, I'm gonna be on a sugar overload. I can feel it. Look at that. Ah, oh, puppy! Woo! Another sugary bite. Good thing these are limited edition. Mmm! So much cream! Oh, that's, that's my time. Ooh, that's an overload of cream. I don't think I can do this. Mm mm. That's an overload. Woo! And I'm a sugar fiend, man, but these, the cream is just over like. 
maybe these were invented for those who love to just eat like four or five cookies at a time. And then you have one, you're like, mm, okay, I'm done. What is enough? See you later. See you tomorrow. Because these are seriously overpoweringly, overpoweringly sweet. Forgive me if I have, uh, you know, all over. I know I had a little piece of Oreo earlier, but I went like this. I'm sure I have Oreos all over my teeth, all over my mouth. But I think it'd be really interesting to see the competitive eaters, the people that eat so much of one thing, how many they can actually eat of these until they're like hit a sugar plateau and they're just like, mm, okay, I need this more. Because seriously, I don't know. It's like, it, they're just like, oh, it's overpowering. Like, the stuff is so sweet that it just envelops your mouth times 20. Like, it's just kind of like, rah, rah, yeah. I'm not gonna give up there. I'm going to actually <laughs> add Oreos into here for an Oreo cereal. We're gonna put one. Oh man, I don't wanna eat a whole row of six. <gasps> what have I done? But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take one for the team because how am I supposed to make Oreo cereal if I don't have a lot of Oreos in there, it's not gonna function. Take one for the team. This is for you, for you watching. <laughs> We've got our Oreos in here. And uh, I'm just letting you know I'm not excited for this. Not excited. I was at first, and then after that second one, I was like, it's gonna be interesting. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in here, get it? A lot of stuff. Honestly, let me tell you something. I don't even know how to properly make Oreo cookie cereal. For all I know, I may have done this very wrong. I don't remember, and I did not take the time to check because right now is the only time I have to do this, so. Just gotta, just gotta do what you gotta do. Whoa, look at this big bite of stuff. <laughs> it sounds so funny to say big bite of stuff. This is what we're working with here, just, Whoa, I feel like this is gonna be a mouthful of stuff. <laughs> That's what she said. But it looks tastes, not really, just the juice. It kind of reminds me of, not the juice, the milk, Oreo milkshake. My mouth is watering, I guess that's a good sign. This bite right here that you can't even see. Oh, there's so much sugar. Mmm, too much sugar, mm-mm. I don't think I can do it. That's too much sugar. I feel my heart slowing down right now. Hmm. A little bit of stuff, good. A lot of bit of stuff, not good for me. I don't know, maybe if you like love, love, love super sweet things, you'll love this. This bite has a little bit less stuff. Let's see if it's a... Still doesn't make a difference. I feel like they put way too much sugar in this stuff stuff. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be hyped today. I'm gonna be hyped on sugar. And before this, I had two donuts, so. My body hates me right now. Oh man, that's just too much sugar. I don't know, I'm interested. I think you have to try this. You gotta let me know. If you do try it, let me know if it's too much sugar for you, if it's just right, or if it's like not enough. I don't know why anybody would say it's not enough, because if you do, you should be in like, a, I don't know, some kind of recognition, because my goodness, this is a lot of sugar. Woo, that stuff, man. The stuff gets me. <laughs> and yes, you know that is what she said. Which is a very good thing, actually. Look at this giant clump of stuff. It's like my Oreo cookie cookie part just disintegrated and all the stuff was left. I don't know. I think I just stick to the double stuff. This stuff is too. I should like literally have a counter to see how many times I say stuff in this video. Stuff, 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 Mm. I'm actually interested to see how this would taste in a milkshake, you know? Like a Oreo cookie milkshake. They put actual Oreos in these, these Oreos in there. Just to see. Even the slightest bit of this stuff, seriously, is like so overpoweringly sugary. By the way, not like you care or it matters, but I am definitely not sponsored by Oreo. Would be nice, but I don't know if they would really appreciate my, my honest review of it just being too sugary. Mm. I would like to know what the actual people at Oreo thought about these. That would be interesting, huh? To see like everybody's employee. Uh, reaction. I mean, everybody's employee. The Oreo or the Nabisco employee's reaction to the cookies. And like, true reaction though. You guys, I cannot finish all that. Look at this. 
that is nothing but stuff. But I don't care. I'm gonna tap out on that because I value my pancreas very much and my glucose levels and everything that goes on inside of me. Call me lame, call me dumb, call me a chump, call me a, call me whatever. Let me know I took that L, I would gladly take that L because I'm not gonna finish all this stuff. Look at this, that is just crazy. I don't know, I can't do it. I'm not a competitive eater, I don't like, I can't. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a human, I'm just a humanoid. I don't know what that means. I just can't finish all that, that's too much stuff from this stuff, stuff. As I was saying, it would be really cool. Again, I apologize for any stuff on my face. Okay, anyways, that's enough. I'm sorry, I'm getting really annoyed. As I was saying, I think it would be really cool for Oreo to do something like that, where they get, I don't mean, I don't know, maybe they have already, I don't know. But if they don't, you know, anybody from Oreo's listening, just give a girl a shout out, you know, just gave you a good idea. But I think it would be really cool for their press, for more promotion, for them to really go around and have honest opinions from their Oreo staff members, because then if you think about it, then it'd be really cool because some people would be like, oh my God, this is great. Other people would be like, not really so much. Then other people would be like, oh my God, this tastes like a blah, 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 blah. It tastes like a cloud, a sugary cloud. It tastes like I just fell into a puddle of sugar. Why would you be in a puddle of sugar? A mound of sugar. So there'd be so many different reviews there and perspectives because there's so many people that work there. I'm assuming, I don't really know. It would be really cool because then there would be mixed emotions and so many people would be like, oh, are they good? Are they not good? Same thing that happens around YouTube. It would be authenticity and transparent opinions of the actual people that work there. I don't know. I just think it would give the company more of a boost than they already have. They don't really need it. Because most people would be like, oh yeah, buy these. These are amazing. And like, honestly, they're not giving their real opinion. I mean, we don't know. I'm giving you my real opinion. But anyways, I think that'd be really cool. So if anybody in that Oreo is listening, well, Harry, there you go. You have a cool little new video, a new little PR. I don't know what it's called, but uh, yeah. And I'll be waiting for my shout out. Just kidding. I really just wanted to just make this video just because I thought it would be fun to try it on camera and give you my first reaction towards it. I just want to say thank you so much for just watching me. You know, I'm super silly. You should definitely go out and try these. I've only seen them at Target so far because I haven't really looked anywhere else. I'm sure Walmart has them. Your bigger chain grocery store probably has them. So if you want to try them, do try them. And then let me know on my social medias or something if you tried them and tell me what you think. I'm very curious. Anyways, that was my opinion on the limited edition Oreo, the most stuffed most cream ever. The whole wording itself is a mouthful. <laughs> I don't think Oreo should put any more cream. I think it should just stay at this for limited edition, my personal opinion. But if you love sweets and you love these, then definitely you should reach out to Oreo and say, hey, we need more of the most more cream ever. I won't be buying those though. But I think this is like maybe two of the double stuff put together. I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like this is way sweeter than those. I haven't had a double stuff in a long time. Anyway, if you do want to see more of me, I invite you to check out my social medias. And if you like what you see, I invite you to follow me. If you're not already following me, if you are, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate anybody who joins the family. Thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if there's one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. Bye.